Hi everyone, this is Vi from Sparkling Faces and today I'm going to be doing my first video in the I Wonder How series. It's going to be for the red and white split out of your Silly Farm Wonder Palette. First I'm going to be loading a 3 fourths inch brush with the red and white. I'm just going to load my brush really, really well. Okay, so what you're going to do is hold your brush vertical in the center of your face and you're going to swoop up and out and then you're going to go back down at an angle and then that will give you a nice heart shape. Okay, and you're just going to repeat on the other side. Like that. Okay, and then I'm going to also put two little hearts on the outside corners of my eyes, doing the same process. Like so. And now I'm going to be adding some swirls and teardrops on this design and I'm going to be loading a number two round with wolf white and for the teardrops and swirls you actually want to keep them semi close together um, the reason why is we're going to be outlining the entire mask after we're done so the closer you have them together the better it will look once you outline everything Okay, so first I'm going to be adding teardrops on both sides of my heart. Repeat on the other side. Okay, now I'm going to be adding a swirl. And from here, I'm going to pick up in the corner of my eye and add a swirl going upwards. And then I just fill in the area between the two swirls with teardrops. And we're just going to repeat that on the other side. Now once you get here, we're going to add two teardrop, I'm sorry, two swirls on the bottom inside of the heart. Okay, now we're going to add another swirl pointing inwards right here. Okay, from here on the mask, I'm actually going to uh, stop adding from the outside in and start in the middle. And I'm going to put some teardrops pointing upwards towards the heart in the middle of my face. Like that. And then I'm going to make them come outwards 
towards the swirl. Oh, I forgot the swirl on the other side. Okay, and then I'm going to add my teardrops on the other side. So you're going to end up with a mask, something like this. And what I'm going to do is go in and put a, just a few dots. Make the mask a little bit more interesting. Okay. And now I'm going to um, outline my hearts really, really quickly. And the reason why I didn't do this before is because the paint takes a little bit to dry um, and I didn't want it to be smeary. Okay, so now you have a pretty swirly heart mask, and what I'm going to do now is using the same red and white split, I'm going to load my brush with just the red. Okay, once you load your brush really, really well with the red, um, you're going to outline the whole design that you've done, and you want to just stay on the outside of the design. Okay, and this is what I mean. I'm going to start here. Going around the circle and then taking it around the swirl. And this is actually a really easy mask that looks kind of complicated just because of the different elements that you've put in the design. Okay, now once I, I finish uh, the bridge of the nose, I'm actually going to start back at the top. Okay, so now once you get here, um, with whatever is left on your brush, what I like to do is go on the inside of the swirl just a little bit, not a lot. And once again, it just adds a little bit of extra interest to your design. Okay, and then you are all done. And that's actually a really quick and easy mask. Um, there's only three colors involved, so it's really quick to do once you get the hang of all your teardrops and swirls. Um, I hope you enjoyed the design, and please stay tuned for more videos for the I Wonder How series. Alright, bye everyone!